How was Beyonce popping with Kirkness? Do you boss your access album? Preach vid is titled Top Tier Men. Women don't qualify for them. <laughs> All right, let, let, let's see what, what they talking about in this video. Let's watch. Modern day women just don't qualify for the top tier men, and that is the truth. Can you I'll, believe you're a top tier man? By what standard? I'm six foot four, only about what? 8% of the entire world is six foot four. That makes I make sure well over 100, 100K a year. And I'm black at that if you add that on. Mm. So just if we speak about those figures, the things that women are attracted to, mm -hmm. well, I'm not going to toot my own horn, but I'll let you do the math. You are... It's not real. None of it is real. Can you imagine starting no. this YouTube channel and just like talking about YouTube every day? Like, you know we rank in the top 1.0.1% of all YouTube channels? That's why we're a top tier YouTube channel. Yeah, absolutely. And we're too much, which makes it even more rare. Just shut the fuck up and just yeah. cut it. Yeah, it's real. We've made over yeah. a thousand videos, 95% of them all monetized. We are the top 0.1%, which is not even a real percentile, but it doesn't matter. You understand? That's fucking weird. Yeah. Now that you put it that way, it's weird. Yeah. It's been weird. Stop. Don't, don't. I think we might be the top, top, top five YouTube duos yeah. of all time. Yeah. Name a better duo than us. It's like three, four of the max. I mean, I know there's none in the UK. Yeah. <laughs> Just say, that's us, bro. It's top tier. And the modern fan doesn't even the qualify. Modern you know, the modern fan. The modern fan. Oh. The modern audience doesn't qualify <laughs> for a YouTube channel like ours. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. Y'all don't qualify. Modern fans. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Just call a spade a spade. You guys don't deserve us. Y'all not grateful <laughs> enough. Y'all don't pay enough money. You know what I'm saying? What did I say that's wrong? You sound like... We offer four to five videos a week free for these cheap bastards. <laughs> Brokies. Brokies. <laughs> and they're going to sit here and try to tell me how to run this channel. You guys are ungrateful. Yo. And the modern yeah. audience does not deserve because if you think about it, 20, 30 years ago, think about how, how traditional audiences used to be. Yo. They used to faint when you walked in the room. What? They used to throw hundreds of dollars for you at a concert for a meet and greet. Shut These niggas want to talk to you in the DMs for free. The modern audience That's doesn't good. deserve top tier quality entertainers like us. Congratulate. That was crazy. Because think about it. Think I about mean, this. I, 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 <laughs> the channel makes over a million dollars a year. Think about this. Okay, think about this. Makes over a million dollars a year, so we're the top percentage just on that alone. Mark. And we're black. So if you factor that in, cool. And we're both over six foot tall. Me, not you. Doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> uh, but I drag you up. Yeah. You know, so I give you some lifts. The modern audience does not deserve us. So think about this. As a five foot man, five foot five man, I don't even deserve myself. The same. You up? So y'all need to do better. Uh, cause or else we're gonna go to Asia and find us some modern artists yeah. that don't want to preview us. <laughs> Them K-pop fans are way better than these Negroes. K-pop fans are way better than we're not. Are we gonna start to do K-pop? If we were a K-pop group, Fresh and Fit would have been assassinated. Yeah. Six foot four. I make well over 100, 100K a year. And I'm black at that if you add that on. Mm. So just if we speak about those figures, the things that women are attracted to, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to toot my own horn, but I'll let you do the math. All right, before we go, <laughs> who's your math saying? The conversation and the words that are coming out of the mouth of someone like you, I would never consider top tier. A top tier man mm. is also a man that is extremely desirable by way of his character. A top tier man is a man who displays a certain level of intellect that allows him to consider other people. A top tier man, um, they lead with love, not with dictatorship, okay. right? They don't want to control their woman. They want to gently lead their woman. A top tier man creates space for a woman to feel good about herself. A top tier man supports the dreams and the ideas of a woman, a top tier man prioritizes a woman. A top tier man is in leadership and working as hard as he is to give the woman the life of her dream. And with but all that stuff that you just said, that was just woman needs talk. Woman needs is also look, six four look, black attractive. Look, look, I don't what, know too many like, women in my circle like who what? desire a six four man still wearing uh, braids. Uh, oh. Um. Yeah. When he. Mention his height is the first, like, uh, pro and the evidence of him being a top tier man. I'm like, what? That is not as relevant as, as men think it is. 
of course women do prefer taller men, but I know a lot of women who are with shorter men. <laughs> there are a lot of shorter men who are in relationships, okay? So this whole, you know, idea that all oh, women only will take the, the top of the top men who are taller, that's just not true. And I would argue that that does not make you a top tier man at all. Your height is the main thing that women will compromise with. Just my opinion and my from my experience. Let me okay, let me ask you a completely different question. I'm gonna go left. Is it just me? Or do we girls really like dating podcasts? I don't ever <laughs> make to making me. them ever participating in them. Yeah. I feel like considering how small of a Such representation a we are in regards to the media landscape. It is absurd how much we dominate these like dating topics and red pill stuff. Mm, what is it? Because I think this is like kind of adjacent. What do you think it, that draws us into like these kind of podcasts where it's like six unqualified people with an opinion telling you how dating has to look? In the exactly. media world, it dictates it dictates a lot of our lives. It dictates a lot of the drama that we're watching. It dictates a lot of the entertainment that we're watching. The dating world is, I feel like, the epicenter of what black people watch. Uh, Entertainers just do okay. music. No, we have to be invested in how they date. And then we want to emulate and replicate that because that's the basis of what a goal is. So it's not just that we're watching these quote-unquote idols. We want to emulate them. The way that they're dating and the dating is basically the epicenter of how we live in. How do we dress? Why do we dress like? Why, 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 do, we, why do we dress so, so fly to attract why do we have certain things? Everything we do is to attract other people. Dating and having a family is the epicenter of the goal of these people. And I say these people, and I'm not talking about black people. I heard people. what you said. When you said these people, we all heard you. We know what you heard. Sorry. So when I say these weekend. people, I'm talking about the people. I feel like there's two people, two different kind of people. The people that live in social media, and to them, that is the reality. And the people that live outside the social media. Like, these people, the people that live in social media, and that is the reality, they are so invested in this and that, the mm. popcorn is out, and they want to... And real life is not so much of all about that. The, the, <laughs> I don't I put my finger why there's like an overrepresentation of black dudes in the red pill space. You know, us as black men, we don't have in the in the media. We we're not really valued, and the search yeah. of value, and proving that we're valued, is to have money, to have control of a relationship, to have a lot of people, a lot of girls or whatever. I think that's what's been prone for us to have value, whereas someone that really has all those things and money and everything and stuff. Some oftentimes don't really talk about it. They don't need to boast about it. We've been, I think we've been put down so much and we're trying, we're in a search of looking like we have value and we, we are, I, I, I'm worth it, man. I got this. You know what I mean? I got a, I got a job. I got I money. I got, time. we've been put, I don't know if it's because we've been put down so much that we were in a constant search of or a constant way of showing that we have value, that we have value, that, that we have the money, that we have the money, the honey, the everything. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. All these, all these years that we've been put down, we're trying to. All these years that we've been put down, we try to uh, make up for compensate for that yeah, by showing the wealth. The money to cause and we have to show this and that. Mm -hmm. uh, in regards to what they said in the video, you know, the guy rambling about the 6 4 and 100k stuff, um, I think there's a true role for men and for women. There's what gets you to the dance and then there's what makes the dance good. <sighs> right? So, in, in a similar token, like there's what makes you attractive to people in the dating context, but there's what keeps a relationship going. And it's interesting that when he defines something that's top tier in regards to a man, Everything was external and physical, right? It says height, 
it was the amount of money he made. Exactly. But I think anybody who's been in a relationship knows just because you have money, you have height. You're not going to maintain that relationship. Exactly. There are skills you need. There are a lot of different aspects of a relationship in terms of compatibility. That's what I said. And, and let me go back to what I said. There are girls, okay? Big difference between women and girls. But there are girls who will disqualify men for their height and will be like, mm, I'm only dating men who are six foot and up. But we're not talking about them. Of course, they're going to do that all day. Those are the type of women you want anyway. So who cares what they're doing? But actual women who have any type of dating experience to any degree, they're not as concerned about height. So those are the people that I'm talking about. I'm talking about women. I'm not talking about girls. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> you know, you could, yeah, whatever. I don't know what they're doing. I'm not talking about them. But women don't care as much about, about height because they have enough common sense and experience to know that just because someone is tall or because they are more attractive or whatever, that doesn't mean they're going to treat you right. And that's what matters more than anything. I've been with some beautiful men, very, very attractive men. None of that mattered when they were treating me terrible, when they were not treating me well. I didn't care about that. So... As you get older and as you gain more dating experience, you realize that that's not important. So for him to list that off as a um, as if it's an accomplishment and as it makes him a top tier man, so I'm just like, it's just so goofy. And he's not attractive at all. So that also was <laughs> boggling my mind. Like, sir, I'd rather be with somebody who's more attractive and shorter than someone who's taller and, and more busted. With bug eyes. Like, you're not cute at all. I'd rather look at someone a, a bit more appealing <laughs> than, than, than you. If I had to pick, okay? As you need. And yeah. It's just interesting to me that when a lot of these guys from these kinds of spaces talk about what is seen as endearing or really good for a man to have, none of it ever involves relationship-related skills. Exactly. If he was just to say, listen, when it comes to being able to run through a bunch of women and smash them, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm tall, I'm like, okay, cool. Exactly. Uh, but I think what she was relating to was more so the relationship aspect and things that actually keep you endearing within a long-term relationship. I think they both have a piece of the answer. I just think, I as a man, if you were to ask me what would be considered a top-tier man or a man of high quality, I don't think I would just say his money and his height. Exactly. exactly. I think it, just even amongst men, if we were to define ourselves. Such a bird-ass like, answer. He's a bird. <laughs> Type of bird brain shit. That's like you asking a woman that. What would make you a, a good quality woman? What makes you a top tier woman? I got a fat ass and I'm cute and I know I do my makeup. Like that's just su such a goofy <laughs> thing to say. Like who cares about any of that? A, a top tier man don't give a fuck about that. I mean, it might play a role. I'm not saying that it doesn't play a role at all, but that's not what he cares about the most, especially when he's trying to settle down with someone or he wants to bring a woman home to, you know, his, meet his mama or whatever the case. It's like, that doesn't make you a good quality woman. Like, what are we talking about? Really what you want to be defined as? And you might say, well, Abba, that's what women are attracted to on the outset. The same way you as a, a, a person is going to be attracted to a woman's physicalness, right? But what else do you need? You need her, if I'm a red pill guy, okay, I'm not, but let's say I was, you need her to be submissive. Okay. You need to be agreeable. Right? You need her to be diplomatic. You need to, so you're not relating to things that are physical, but you're not going to know that stuff unless you date her, right? right so when right. you think of a top tier woman, you're going to look to her characteristics, her character, right? Her ability to be, because as attractive as she is, if she doesn't have those qualities, you're not going to qualify her. Why is it any different for a man, right? You didn't talk about the leadership aspect of a man. You didn't talk, mm -hmm. if you're still operating those traditional values, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just interesting to me that these guys will harp on this kind of stuff, but when they actually go to describe, they just talk about money and they talk about their height. The way they talk about high value is not functional. To be a high value man, I think you have to be functional and within the confine of a relationship. When you talk about money and all that, that stuff, like it is not functional. It shows it's luxury, but it's not functional. Yo, know, listen, rest in peace of Kevin Samuels, but I wish those terms died with him. The high value? The, all that, yeah. the, all that shit. That was like the start of a really cringe path for a lot of us, and it's not died down, especially for some black folks. No. Like, oh, stop saying that shit. That's how you Every know that you should listen to them. Shit. Just like, it's corny exactly. that you call yourself that. Yes. Because like, aside from looking at it, it's, it's not died down, especially for some black folks. So no. just like, oh, stop saying that shit. Every time people say it, I just expect some goofy shit. Just like, it's corny that you even call yourself that. Yes. Because like, aside from looking at it, it just... You look like the cornballs consume too much online shit. Some load, it's like it's like when I hear patriarchy. Or when I hear, you see how you roll your eyes? I, think I roll my eyes when I hear high value man. 
I'm like, what have you been consuming for you to use that word? Even if what you're talking about it might be real, <laughs> the fact that you're using that word tells me you could, the same way if I hear someone say patriarchy, instantly in my head is like, you're about, I'm gonna relate to you all the cringe people I've heard use that word. I think men can be better served with talking about things that are actually valuable as a man in general, and not just to women, right? Because I think a lot of those higher careers that matter to other men, in terms of loyalty, in terms of being there for your friends, in terms of just being about your work, right? These are all qualities that we find endearing between each other, right? When I would define what is a great man in terms of like a man I would trust, somebody who lives out his principles, Women would find that endearing as well. I've never met a woman who didn't think those things were endearing. Five for the top tier men, and that is the truth. Can I you believe you're a top tier man? By what standard? I'm six foot four. Only about what? Eight percent of the entire world is six foot four. I make well over a hundred hundred k a year, and I'm black at that. If you add that on, mm. so just if you speak about those standards, thing to, that women to, are to add race to make you a a top tier man, and, and the fact that you black is <laughs> that's also odd because um. The world is racist against black people. So how does that make you talk? What up? Attracted to? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to toot my own horn, but I'll let you do the math. The fact that he even knows that statistic is just funny. <laughs> you can tell, like, he's definitely had to have his arguments before. He's like, you know, make me think of, like, uh, that dating profile from Fresh and Family. Yeah. Myron's just like, I make 100K. I'm over six foot three. Only 1% of men have abs. It's just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you see and, people and, and are like, are you guys real people? And that's what I mean by they. Yeah. They live in the social like, media, in the yeah. social. It's not real world. Yeah, the sentence only some more amount of people have have abs is you weird. To me. That's not what the fuck does that do for me? That's just like it's either I'm talking about people I don't that just care. Live, yeah, or people that just live on social media. It's they. It's them. It's them over there. They're not real people. That's what I mean by them. Uh, but anyways, cringe. That's all I can say. <laughs> cringe. Every time this topic comes up, I'm just like, oh my god. Yeah. Um, I'm tired of the the high value thing. The top, like, yeah. the top tier. You guys have. I'm surprised he's still talking like this in 2024. We're about to be in 2025, and you said, top tier man, high value man. Like, if you're going to be in the red pill space, whatever, that's your prerogative. But update y'all terminology. <laughs> like, come with some different talking points or something. Let's talk about something else. Like, Jesus, y'all saying the same shit over and over and just looking goofy as you're saying it. And he was not <laughs> attractive at all. You see, he left that off the list. Or, or did he mention that? I hope he did not lie and say that. But he left that off the list like, oh, I'm attractive because you can't you can't say that. So, what are we talking about? But, but sure, whatever. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!